Hello, this is the Grotrian Steinweg Grand Piano 220 centimetres long, made in 1923. It's just come into stock, so just looking at it to see what work we might need to do to improve it and also to appreciate the piano. Uh, this brass uh, decoration that it has on the on the pedal lyre here and also on the casters above those is something I don't think I've seen before. The Grotrian are a very inventive firm related to Steinweg, as you probably know, and uh, looking at the casework here it's really pretty immaculate it's just been restored and um, so really grateful to get this piano in there's work to do on it just to perfect it really um, but the casework is pretty perfect obviously it's difficult for you to see any scratches on the veneer going around the side here sorry on the polish uh, but uh, I can assure you that around the side I can't really see anything at all the only scratching at all if we go around this side here just to show you really a lovely decoration here so it's a bit like a Steinway the way they put this extra um, piece of beading on here and looks very attractive this piano is done with tremendous integrity tremendous love Grotrian Steinweger firm that we really appreciate that's just dirt on there I think uh, it's got needs rubbing off now there are some surface scratches which we will try to take uh, eradicate completely we normally can be pretty successful with that mainly the surface scratches are on the music stand here where there's been music put um, and not that much I don't think it's been used very much since it was fully restored um, it's a nice clean piece of felt here a new one obviously and that's not showing any signs of wear uh, beautiful music stand style so it has ivory keys as well um, if we look at the keys we can see they're slightly yellowed as ivory does get yellowed um, can be replaced if it's going to be exported that might be necessary nowadays very often ivory has to be replaced unfortunately um, but you can see it's like yellow slightly and it has been rough so when they restored it they've already made it whiter I, su I suspect uh, that's something which we could do as I say we could replace them completely probably not make them much whiter I don't think that could happen um, let's look at those pedals again because it's so attractive isn't it at least I find it so um, very low pedals by the way five centimeters from the floor which is ideal which means there's plenty there is plenty of legroom 62 centimeters from the floor so you could actually put caster cuts under and would only raise it by a couple of centimeters and as we mentioned before really seven and a half eight is maximum at five you've got plenty of extra room to play with there looking at the inside of the piano and it's i'm really grateful with this piano because i don't know who's restored it but it's unusual for us to be able to get a piano in that's already been restored in a way that we would we appreciate uh, so obviously we're trying to restore pianos ourselves as well as possible so looking at the string line here everything about it just speaks that it's been extremely well restored um, soundboard's perfect uh, dampers everything about it really is done with great integrity so I'm not sure who, who has restored this but whoever's done it certainly knew what they were doing it has a new rest plank and they seem to have veneered over the top of the rest plank so really gone to an extreme to make the piano as good as possible and new tuning pins obviously with a new rest plank so um, if you look at the dampers here I've, I've, I've increased the lift of the dampers they were wasn't, weren't quite lifting enough um, I'll show you that um, something about that later on just to show you what I've done there's one damper here that's not quite damping properly that one there so the first of the flat dampers and there is a half wedge at the back and it's the half wedge that's the problem now looking at the dampers at the back here see the left hand string there's the half wedge which means um, it's a, a split wedge at the back but there's a flat wedge at the front so if we listen to the ones next to it they're damping much better than that one so if I if I put a wedge in this that string so if I put the wedge in here um, just back there if you could see me doing that here now if we play it it's perfectly all right so it's the right hand string that's causing the problem and when we dampen the right hand string it's damping properly so I'll, we'll just have to I'll show you how that's done how to improve that so I've loosened the screw on the damper here and now we can just pull it off and here's the damper so the right hand side was the problem here so what we normally do is squash the left hand side so the left hand goes in a little bit further uh, and then the right should probably dampen the, the string if that doesn't work you, you can 
just very gently fluff up the left hand side here but you have to be extremely careful not to damage the dampers really it's best to really try and squash the left hand one then the right hand one will go a bit further in now the tuning pin's going to a new rest plank and we're going to look at the rest plank underneath here just to see what the new rest plank looks like. So this is a brand new rest plank, new, same rest plank used in many new pianos today, especially German pianos use the Delignate rest plank. So um, it's uh, the one that we use ourselves, so it's been very well restored. Now the action's been fully restored, new felts, um, the keys are absolutely tight and the hammers here, these are new Arbel hammers and the new shanks and rollers as we do ourselves so we're very encouraged by this restoration um, I think this rails slightly on the high side but it's just not that important really in terms of it it, it will function perfectly well like it is but that rail should be a little bit lower um, normally there's a gap between the hammer the, the hammer blow is correct so that's the difference between the hammer and the strings but the rail is slightly high looking at the worksheet here it's fully restored with Delignate rest plank, just all the kind of things we're looking for. That's very encouraging. And even the touch weight is very correct. So it's unusual for us not to have to work on that, as you'll have noticed on other videos. We use, it's usually a bit on the heavy side, but in this case, it's just ideal. Um, very slightly varied, so we try and even that up a little bit, maybe, but not that need to much need to do it. There's a few things I've noted here, like some uh, uh, that was the damper we mentioned, and, and we've got some slightly uh, hammers that need toning slightly, voicing slightly, um, and then there's, there's the work there. So fine regulation, voicing, fine tuning, um, it's at concert pitch here. I did tune it before just to check the piano actually, so it needs fine tuning still. Um, and uh, just a small job here, painting the sides of the sharps. If you look there, uh, when it was restored, they didn't paint the sides of the sharps, so that's something that we would do. Um, that's a common job that needs doing, but really only only cosmetic, obviously. And uh, in every other aspect, it's an excellent instrument. Groch and Steinbegs of this age have a particularly warm tone. Let's just play the middle section. And then as you go through to the tenor. A very even bass. For the break point, it's hardly, hardly noticeable. And a clear, powerful top treble. So that's a Grotrin Steinberg, 220 centimetres long, made in 1923. And you can hear how beautiful a sound it's got. very sensitive action too. It's an ideal concert piano or large domestic piano. We've managed to source and supply a reasonable number of these over the years and it's always something we're trying to do because this model of Grotrin, one of our favourites, and this age of Grotrin too, 1920s, has a warmer sound really than a later one.
So that's a Grotrian Steinweg, 220 centimetres long, made in 1923 and fully restored in great detail. It's a piano we were always delighted to source. I think we sold about seven or eight Grotrian 220s. It's difficult to source but we do particularly love the pianos. very very warm tone in the bass and in the treble sings beautifully. And the tenor area too sings very clear top treble. Very sensitive action to play. Thank you very much for listening. If you're interested in the piano, please do write to us, infertrobertspianos.com. Let us know what you'd like to do. We've sold these as concert pianos and large domestic pianos. So whether you want a, a large piano, and the tone of the piano obviously is wonderful because of the size of the soundboard and the size of the bass, length of the bass strings. And the action is as good as you'll get in a new piano. There's no reason why you should buy a new piano um, over an older piano. Top pianists like Horowitz and Rubinstein played on and preferred older pianos. Um, and obviously it's the, the job of the restorer to get them as perfect as a new piano.